The price of F-35A has fallen from $82.4 million in Lot 12, to $79.2 million in Lot 13, which has now fallen to $77.9 million in Lot 14, which means that India could have procured three F-35A fighters at the flyaway cost of two Rafale fighters. India is the only country in the newly formed Quad Military Alliance which is not operating the F-35A, and the US administration is still peddling its fourth-generation F-21, F-15 NEX and F-18 fighter jets to India, and this will continue to make the Rafale fighter jets an attractive offer for India, even if additional Rafale orders can impact its military modernization plans. The Indian Air Force has backed the Amka 5.5 generation fighter program, which will materialize in the next 12 to 15 years, when countries would have started fielding both manned and unmanned variants of 6th generation fighter jets, and even Pakistan might get the Chinese J-20 ahead of India's indigenous Amka program. A customizable F-35A offered with the ability to integrate indigenous air-to-air -air and air-to-ground systems with license build agreement will make the F-35 an attractive offer to the Indian administration. Turkish defense contractors which were supplying F-35 components can be replaced by Indian manufacturers, which will create a specialized workforce, and also prepare supply line for the twin-engine deck-based fighter and the AMCA. Senior officials have said that the contract for the Hammer standoff systems was signed between the government of India and France in September 2020, and the Indian Air Force will receive the Hammer systems in large numbers by the end of November. Normally the delivery would have taken at least one year, but the French Air Force has decided to send the Hammer systems from their inventory, that will cater to the urgent requirement of India. With the arrival of Hammer, the Indian Rafale now has a full armament complement, which includes 80 km range micro systems, 150 km range meteor systems and 300 km range scalp cruise systems, which gives the Rafale fighters the capability to completely dominate both the adversaries in the region. An Indian private sector company has partnered with the Marine Group of Denmark for local manufacturing of advanced patrol boats. The 16-meter-long Pro Zero patrol boats are manufactured using composite fiber reinforced plastic, and apart from meeting the needs of the Indian Armed Forces for next-generation patrol boats, the joint venture will also look at exporting these boats to Southeast Asia and other regions. Pakistani government officials have advised their Prime Minister to take the matter of India-US Basic Exchange and Cooperation Agreement in the United Nations, and said that the agreement is a challenge to Pakistani military assets as well as peace and stability in the region. Pakistan is also planning to request China to call a meeting of regional countries, and discuss a counter-strategy to this agreement, and even raise the matter in Shanghai Cooperation Organization. While the navies of Quad countries have started the first phase of the Malabar naval exercise, the German Defence Minister has said that a German Navy ship will patrol the Indian Ocean from 2021, on which the Chinese media has reacted that China will not slow its development because of such external turbulence. It also reported that even Germany wants to manage Chinese influence in the Indo-Pacific region, and India is actively promoting such regional geopolitical rivalry that will bring more uncertainties and affect the regional development.